Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make this minimalistic and simple logo reveal animation in a very simple way. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have a video here which I'll be using as a background. So I'll drag this to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So now in order to make this look, you know, look cool as a background, let me go to the FX panel and simply type in camera blur and I'll drag this camera blur effect onto our video just like this. So this blur seems to be, a, seems to be too much to me, you know, and that's the reason I'll change this to 15. Alright, so this looks good and we have a background something like this, right? And uh, I'll go to this uh, project panel here and I'll drag my logo here. I'll drag my logo onto my video just like this and this is a bit too much. So I'll select this logo and scale it up just so that it fits right like this. So now we'll be animating this logo. So now to do that, go to the FX panel and type in basic 3D and you have this basic 3D effect and drag this onto your logo just like this. Let us um, make sure that the logo appears after one second. So I'll move it just like this. Alright. So at this point, um, at the first frame of the video, I'll select my uh, um, basic 3D effect and I'll change this swivel value to um, negative 90. Alright, I'll type negative 90 and I'll click on this timer button here so that a keyframe is created at this first frame and I'll move half second forward just like this and change this value to 0. So now if I start playing this, this is how it's going to look like. So this is how your logo is going to turn like this. Let me just render this up. So this is how you your logo turns. You can also change these two values here. You can simply ease out them. Once you have the animation in place, we'll be adding a text in the bottom uh, that you can usually use it for the tagline or the website URL. So I'll click on this T button here and uh, create something here like this so that a text box is created and since I am uh, a Death Note fan, I'll simply type justice shall prevail. Okay, I'll just center this up like this okay go to the FX panel and simply type transform and add this transform effect onto my text layer and then change the x-axis value because uh, I need some motion blur with this so I'll change the position value to negative 800 just so that it moves outside of our video and I'll click timer button here so that a keyframe is created at this point and I'll go around uh, one second forward and bring the position value back to 960 all right and I'll uncheck this use composition shutter angle and change the shutter angle value to 360 just so that let me just render this out before showing you. So this is how the text comes in. And then at this point, we'll, you know, we'll remove this logo by select your logo and then change the click on this time uh, on this diamond button here so that a keyframe is created at this point. Move around half second forward and change this value to 90 
just so that it turns like this and i'll move this text also also the the text i'll select the text and i'll also move this position value by selecting a keyframe here and i'll move this to the right just like this and i'll set this value to 960 at this point even at the start of the video i'll change this to something to 9 3000 we have 3000 all right so let me render this out this is how the animation is going to look like perfect so this is how you make this simple logo reveal animation using adobe premiere pro premiere pro is all about creativity so you can do multiple things to generate and make the best out of this i hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and uh, if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always connect with me on instagram at vfx guy ravi just zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial